Welcome to Old Gal Never Channel. Well, this is my van, 1500 Ram Promaster 136 wheelbase. And I have literally changed the inside one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, maybe six, but I'm sure that if I haven't done six, it's right around the corner. So I have some videos, I've got some stills of all of my changes. Come join me. This is my first one. Uh, I love the lattice work. You pulled it out and it blocked the dogs from jumping out. We had three dogs at the time. The bed was way too short. Uh, I'm 5'1", made the width 5'3", I mean the length, and it just wasn't enough for my pillow and my feet to move around. Not a good uh, length. Also, don't go with boating material. Oh my god, it's so hot. Now that bed pulled out so that uh, it could be even a double bed. That was really good. Uh, this was a little table box thing that I made. The table pops up. It's a half moon. The uh, box, I made it for storage of long items. Didn't measure my long items. They never fit. You'd measure what you want to put in. So air conditioning fit in the bottom. And I could put clothes in there, put a little hanger. Clothes fit on the top. Now, I love this. I had a shower there. My potty was inside there. My kitchen was there. Uh, you can see that I had a small refrigerator, water supply. I liked it. No room for pots and pans. No room for food. No room for supplies. I really lost as far as storage. But I love that I could open up the back and do a walkthrough. It was so comfortable. But I had cooking. That is my cooking space, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, that board, refrigerator's un uh, underneath it. And I had no ex uh, exhaust fan there. No windows open. This was prior to me putting windows in. Just a bad design. Or uh, let's just say I might like it now. Didn't like it then. Now my shower was hung up by hula hoops. Uh, put them together, it went around. Notice I had to use two shower curtains. But that worked out, and the doggy pool worked out. Uh, I could pour the water out. That was really nice. I just uh, wish if I had more room for the bed, the bed really had to be longer. And uh, rethink where I would put kitchen items. And my goodness, I could have put them higher. I don't know, this design feels so good. So comfortable, but there was no storage except for underneath the bed. And for some crazy reason, I was building this for Armageddon and I needed to put the entire house underneath that bed and four seasons of clothing. Um, I was stuffed to the gills. I might have been able to do some tweaks with that design and been happy uh, building a little bit more storage, but I threw up my hands and said, there's not enough room in here. I have got to do something different. So I did. So in this design, well, I just built out that whole damn wall. I had a table that, fell, that folded down. I had cabinets. I had microwave. I moved my kitchen more towards uh, the air vent and the door, um, put a good counter, um, Move my TV. TV was okay. Still, the uh, bed was on the other side. You can tell where the TV's laying. And uh, put in a chair that swiveled. I had it going. But guess what? Oh, there's my table. You pull it down. So you drop it down. And when you drop it down, I had all my pots and pans that when you dropped it down, all my pots and pans fell down with it. Now, there's my clothes. Oh, moving, moving. I like the wiring of this. It looks ugly to you, but I like it. So, also the bed, what did I do? Well, I had to chop that damn bed, and I wanted something that uh, uh, was shorter so I could have more foot room. I left a um, the length so I could sit down and have a lounge chair that pulled out. That was pretty cool because you could pull it out and it literally was a lounge chair. And then you could move the bed out too, at the same length, while you were struggling with that damn mattress, I don't know, me and mattresses just do not work together. Or it might be my mind. I don't know which. That, that design was too tight, so 
I changed it up again. Okay, I'm getting ready to head out. Uh, and if you didn't see my last video, I'm at a shooting complex in Las Vegas, Nevada. The You uh, stay on this side of the road with full uh, hookups. And then on the other side of the road, you've got skeet shooters. That's what you got. And so I need to check everything before I start off. Laundry there. Got my stuff here. Everything tied down. Tied down. Uh, all right, you're tied down. You're back in place. You're, you're scooted so that things won't move. You sink are okay. You guys, by the way, this is a gun belt. All I did was wrap it around. So that works pretty good. Uh, and I had a Berkey here too. So uh, my Berkey normally fits here, but I didn't take it for this two month adventure. All right, anything else? TV set up. This is place. You're there. I think we're ready for travel. All right, let's hit the road, Jack. If you haven't gotten dizzy yet, stay with me. Let's find out how good this thing is. Let's, oh, I'm off camera. Never be off camera. Oh, oh my God, it's wonderful. The chair is wonderful. I got it going. Okay, shall we breakfast? Ah, uh, but I'm not done yet. So I replaced soft solar with hard panels. My soft ones blew off. One moment, please. Just a moment. Moving through. Moving through quickly. And my co-partner, co-captain, is Charles. This was a negotiation to keep me safe, so Charles will be riding with me. What is it? What is it? What is it? What are you doing? The introduction of Maggie, the rescue dog. Another change oh occurs. I grab the poo bags to drive with instead of the keys that the baby was playing with. Come on. It should fit. Ah, it's looking clean again. Will this be the final? Who will know? You have to stay tuned.